Welcome to the Prepper Almanac. Thank you for joining us today. It is deeply appreciated. In today's video we are going to discuss 17 rare prepper skills that will be in high demand after the collapse. And yes, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if I give you value in today's video. I would be thankful. And feel free to share the video on your social media networks as well. While the industrial revolution and increasing technology have helped our society grow and prosper, many of the things we use today won't be available after an economic or civil demise. Homesteaders and preppers need to know and become familiar with these rare skills that will be in high demand after the current economic system collapses. These skills are those that your grandparents or great-grandparents knew. Old stories of how to butcher a chicken or can a bucket of green beans will be important skills in the future. Plenty of modern people today take for granted these older skills that will eventually come back around. Take a look at these rare skills and commit to learning them now, before it's too late. And let us know in the comment section if there are some other rare skills we should consider. Now let's get to the list. 1. Beekeeping. This lost art is finding its way back, thanks to the recent decline in natural hives. Beekeeping is an important skill to have not only to keep your garden and plants producing but also to feed your own family. Starting a beehive on your homestead strengthens your land and provides a food source for your family that will never spoil. To construct a beehive, begin by assembling the necessary materials, wooden boards, plywood, screws, and wood glue. Choose a hive design, such as the Langstroth hive, and cut the wooden components accordingly. The hive typically consists of a bottom board, brood boxes, honey supers, inner and outer covers. Assemble the boxes by joining the boards with screws and reinforcing the joints with wood glue. Ensure proper spacing for frames within the boxes to accommodate bee activity. Attach frames to the top bars using wire or foundation. Drill entrance holes and ventilation gaps, and paint the hive with non-toxic exterior paint for weather resistance. Finally, add a solid bottom board, stack the hive components, and place it in a suitable location for beekeeping. 2. Blacksmithing. The ability to reshape metal is huge. In fact, it's what caused humanity to leave the Stone Age behind and enter the Bronze Age. However, there's more to it than heating up metal and hitting it with a hammer. To be a successful blacksmith, you need to learn the science behind it and spend lots of time practicing. Once you get the hang of it, you can make things like tools, nails, gates, blades, cauldrons, railings, horseshoes, cooking utensils, candle holders, and more. To get started with blacksmithing you'll need a basic set of tools including a forge, anvil, hammer, tongs, and safety gear like gloves and eye protection. Begin by heating the metal in the forge until it's malleable and reaches the desired temperature for shaping. Use the hammer and anvil to shape the metal by striking it with controlled blows. Tongs are essential for holding and manipulating the hot metal. Pay attention to the color of the metal, as it indicates its temperature, a glowing orange or yellow is often ideal for forging. As you gain experience, you can explore various techniques such as drawing out, upsetting, twisting, and scrolling to create different shapes. Remember to cool and quench the metal as needed and always prioritize safety by wearing appropriate protective gear and working in a well-ventilated space. Constant practice and learning about metallurgy will enhance your blacksmithing skills over time. 3. Building a fire without matches. Knowing how to start and build a fire without the use of matches is another rare skill that will be in high demand. Most of us don't know how to make a fire from scratch, let alone a fire without the use of fuel or matches. Friction-based methods to build a fire. These methods rely on creating enough friction to generate heat and ignite tinder. Some common methods include Hand drill, this ancient method involves rubbing a stick against a fireboard to create heat and ignite tinder. It requires practice and skill but is very effective. Bow drill, this variation of the hand drill uses a bow to spin the stick, making it easier to generate heat. It is faster and more efficient than the hand drill. Fire plow, this method involves rubbing a stick back and forth along a groove in a piece of wood to create heat. It is a simpler method than the hand drill but requires a bit more preparation. Flint and steel, this method uses a piece of flint to strike a steel striker, creating sparks that can ignite tinder. It is a more challenging method but can be very effective with practice. 4. Building a proper shelter Both your family and animals will need shelter, no matter what. Knowing how to build a proper shelter using natural materials will be key for survival in the future. Practice making a shelter out on your own land now. Understand the difference between a temporary shelter and one that should provide protection from the winter elements long term. 5. Butchering When it comes to feeding yourself and your family, you will need to know how to kill and butcher animals for meat. 
Butchering is one skill that we've all grown accustomed to. Many children don't understand that the beautiful chicken breast in the package was once part of a live chicken. Knowing how to butcher an animal correctly will not only maximize the meat that you harvest but also keep your family safe from doing it wrong and spoiling the meat. 6. Candle making. Without the power grid in place, many prepper homesteads will be without electricity. Knowing how to make candles that will provide important light at night is crucial. Candles are a basic need for anyone moving around at night, especially during the winter when the sun sets earlier in the day. 7. Canning. While canning has come back into popularity in recent years, it still isn't a skill that many of us know. Canning your own fruits and vegetables from the garden is a vital skill that will keep your family fed during the colder or lean months. While it may look easy, it is possible to can incorrectly and put your family at risk. 8. Crochet and Knitting While crochet and knitting are quaint hobbies now, this skill will be important in the future after a collapse. Learning how to crochet and knit allows you to create useful items from yarn or wool that would be otherwise unusable. Not only can you make important clothing items, like socks, gloves, and hats, but you can also weave together towels and even large blankets to keep warm in a disaster. I think this one will be the tough one for me. I definitely don't have that skill set right now. 9. Foraging. Using the natural resources around your area will be a rare skill to have in the future. Plenty of plants can be used for food, medicine, and building materials. Identifying and harvesting plants in natural areas is vital to your family's health and well-being after a collapse. 10. Harvesting seeds. Go to seed isn't a term that many modern people understand. Allowing a plant to grow past its prime to produce seed is a learned skill that will be important to know. Harvesting these seeds and saving them for the next year will be vital to your homestead and your family's health and well-being. 11. Raising animals. While it can seem easy to have a flock of chickens or raise pigs, there are many quirks to raising animals on the homestead. Understanding the breed or kind of animal that you have on the farm is essential. Knowing their preferred diet, shelter, and troubleshooting issues is important when relying on your own food source. 12. Sewing. Few of us make our own clothes today, thanks to large companies who can make clothes cheap. However, sewing and making clothes will be a needed skill if our world collapses. Knowing how to sew on a button, sew a whip stitch, or threading a needle will all help when it comes to making clothes. Learn how to select a fabric, pattern, and add seam allowances for the perfect fit. 13. Smoking meat. While you may have an electric or gas smoker now, it will be essential to know how to preserve meat in the future without these sources of power. Smoking meat not only helps you preserve the meat for future meals, but it also keeps you from wasting meat that would usually spoil. 14. Soap making. Cleanliness is important during hard times to keep your family safe. Knowing how to make soap is a skill that will come in handy after the collapse. Understanding how to mix lye, oil, water, and fragrance will help keep your body clean as well as your clothes and surfaces. 15. Spinning wool. Shearing sheep is a unique skill to have and many homesteaders farm out this job to the few who still know how to do it. Not only will you need to shear sheep in the future for wool, but you'll also need to know how to spin the wool to create a usable textile. 16. Tanning. After butchering an animal and smoking the meat, it is essential for a prepper to use all parts of the animal on the homestead. Learning how to tan the hide of an animal is a vital skill that many of us don't know today. Animal hides can provide necessary shelter and clothing that could be the difference between life or death. 17. Water purification. In the event of a collapse, there won't be any stores where you can buy bottled water. Knowing how to purify your own water, through filters or by using a solar still, will be crucial when it comes to survival. Many of the water sources around you may be contaminated from different sources. Understanding how to purify water for your family and animals will be needed for survival. Final thoughts. There are plenty of rare skills that will be very important someday, maybe sooner than you think. Invest some time in learning these skills now. Ask those around you for help on how to do all of these things so you can keep your homestead and family safe in the event of a collapse. As we wrap up today's video, if you have any questions or if there are any topics that you would like discussed in the future, let us know in the comment section below. We love to get video ideas from the community. And let us know what you think of today's video as well. We always appreciate input. Be sure to like today's video and subscribe to the channel to learn more about prepping and share the video with others that may have a passion for prepping or are curious about prepping in general. And lastly we have put some links to some prepper supplies that you might want to check out in the description below. Thanks for watching the Prepper Almanac.